Well, you can enjoy the prickly side of Del Rio while getting in some fishing, swimming, or whatever outdoor fun might suit your fancy. Pamela LeBlanc with Austin Travels joins us this morning to talk more about Devil's River and all it has to offer. Morning, Pam. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, tell us about these uh, trips. I, I, it seems like in uh, briefly reading over some of this, you enjoy taking these trips kind of in the in the autumn months. So we're coming up on that time. Well, so I've done this trip four times and I've always done it in the spring. But last October, I did it in a, uh, or last year, I decided to do it in the fall instead. And it was completely different. And anyone who knows me knows that I love the outdoors and I love swimming. And the Devil's River is one of the most pristine rivers in the state. And it, it's an amazing adventure. Um, I always recommend that people take their time on this trip. I spent four days going only 22 miles in a canoe, which is really not a lot of paddling. But there's a lot of rapids on this trip. There's beautiful camping. And it's just, you don't see any other people. It's an amazing, beautiful trip. Do a lot of people who love the outdoors and love the outdoors in the state of Texas know about the Devil's River pretty extensively? I got to say, and I'm not the biggest outdoors person, but uh, <laughs> all this is really new to me. And uh, you talk about it being kind of remote or having some of the places to yourself. Is this kind of a, a cool secret area in some ways? Yeah, we're trying to keep it secret, <laughs> actually. Um, the problem with the Devil's River in the past has been that access is a little bit difficult. So you have two ways to do this trip. You can either paddle yourself and camp along um, islands in the river, which is legal, but you have to make sure that you're not on riverbanks or on private property. Or what happened several years ago is Texas Parks and Wildlife came up with a system where you can get an access permit where paddlers can put in at Baker's Crossing uh, and then paddle along the way. And there are several sites where you can legally with one of these um, back with one of these permits, you can legally camp at access points along the river. They're designated camps just for paddlers. And the other thing about this trip is, is you have to be an experienced paddler to do this. It's not just something that anybody could go out and do. You have to be comfortable um, paddling and you have to be comfortable paddling in rapids. And if you do get into trouble, you need some kind of an emergency system to get help because it's not like you can just crawl out of the river and go find someone to help you. You need to carry um, an emergency um, satellite phone or an in-reach communicator so you can get help if needed. And one other thing I will say about this trip is it's a really special place and it's a place that Texans need to take care of. We can't abuse this privilege to be on this amazing river. It's clear blue. Um, there's amazing swimming holes. There's great fishing, but we have to protect it. And so there's an, a, there's an organization called the Devil's River Conservancy, and they work to keep this area safe, um, beautiful, pristine, and to protect it from overuse over um over oh my cat <laughs> um they uh, work hard to keep keep it protected and we need to support them absolutely i love the cameo by the way and and <laughs> depending on if they're if they're like anything like my cats they might be dedicated enough to make a return visit before we're done talking here i'm gonna keep an yes. eye out for that uh never in, uh, underestimate the determination uh real quick though when you talk about all all these things and then like you said making that trip uh, in October, I would imagine with the weather starting to cool down a little bit, uh, that makes it a, a really pleasant experience where you can still get in the water and enjoy all that, but maybe not the extreme heat that I would imagine parts of that area might get over the summer months. Absolutely. I think fall is a great time to do this trip because, as you said, the water in the river is still warm enough for wonderful swimming, but it's not so hot that you're uncomfortable sleeping at night. Um, it, it's, it's a great trip, and, and this trip, like I mentioned earlier, was particularly impressive because it happened. I didn't realize this was going to happen, but um, it, it coincided with the monarch migration last fall. So we were on the river in clouds of both monarch butterflies. I knew it. <laughs> and, <laughs> you're right. And yellow sulfur butterflies, uh, both were, <laughs> were all over the river. And it just added a really cool element to the trip. I Nature bet, is so groovy. Yeah, I bet that was an amazing surprise. Uh, yeah, just yeah. To see that pop up out of nowhere. And I bet the cat would have enjoyed those too. If uh, <laughs> he or she had been. No, no, that's all, all good. Uh, but real quick, if people want to do read uh, more extensively about your trips to the Devil's River or just anything else going on, obviously Austin Travels is the place to do that. 
Yes, please, please visit our site, www.austintravels.com. We have a new issue up in September, and we'll have, we have fresh stories every month. All right, uh, Pam LeBlanc, thanks so much for visiting with us, Pam. You have some quality time with your cat coming up in your future. I think they need some attention, and uh, we'll talk with you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Right. Bye.